Um, we got a problem. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James, and in this video, I'm going to review episode four of Dead City season one. Spoiler alert if you're not caught up. All right, this episode was really cool. We got a flashback to some old stuff. Simon, it was Simon. Extra coolness for a special guest appearance by Simon. We get a look back at what the Croat did, uh, killing that person from the kingdom, an age in a, in a way Negan didn't approve of. The interaction between Simon and Negan, pretty cool. Negan eating a feast. You get Lucille. We also got Lucille back. Check out Lucille. But what was Negan drawing on the pad? It looks like he was putting little place markers for where he would set up some walkers outside around Sanctuary. He had all those walkers tied to fences and set up different places. I think that's what he's drawing out, setting up the Sanctuary, way back in the day before Rick come along. They have a powwow about their plan in present day, Negan and the rest, Maggie talk about Luther being missing. And then Maggie and Negan are talking a little bit back and forth with Negan going, hey, have you seen my matches? And Maggie going, nope. So at the end of the last episode, I thought maybe she didn't really burn the dinosaur. We'd see Jeannie run out and say, hey, don't burn my dino. Not only does Jeannie know that Maggie maybe lied about the grain and is somehow a danger to Negan, but she burned the dino. Come on, man. And I know I've talked about it in the comments maybe with some of you guys about the dino thinking, well, it didn't show her burning it. And we were thinking maybe she didn't. Maybe Jeannie would run out, you know, or something at that moment. Maybe she'd do the whistle or something, you know. One reason why I thought the dino would survive, and, and it still might, you know, it, it's possible it still could, I guess. But the actress for Jeannie in an interview said that she got to take the dinosaur home. So we know they didn't really burn it even if it's implied in the show. And I do wonder if it's just a, you know, they wrote it that way for us as far as the viewers, or maybe the Croat set it up that way, knowing, hey, these people are coming. You know, he had the candle, uh, the explosion. He had all his men pretty much ready. It does seem like he knew they were coming. So did Croat get another person that looked like Herschel and put him here? Because really, what are the odds that some young dude looking like Herschel, kind of resembling Herschel a little bit, would be there tied up for Maggie to find. But in all of that, Maggie finds the beeswax. I was wondering, why did they close up on the beeswax? And yep, it's because that would be the tell that told Maggie uh, Negan took care of Luther. And was she about to tell him about Jenny? She said, I've got to tell you something, but then she found the beeswax and uh, never did. So... They continue with their plan. So I guess part of that plan is Maggie going and grabbing her car. While she's doing so, she sees Jeannie. And is like, oh, I got to go after her because Jeannie then runs off. She ends up catching Jeannie. And about that time, they're all, you know, surrounded by the walkers. And about that time, the explosions, of course, go off and they're kind of screwed. And as far as this scene goes, I do wonder if, you know, he thinks this kid is like a son of his own. So he's really enjoyed watching him grow up the last few years and all that kind of stuff and his dedication you know i do wonder what that scene was really about but we do have negan whistling and uh drawing out just like they said we're going to use negan as bait and that draws out the croat of course then the explosion happens the candle which was a timer explosion happens walkers come in so it looks like the croats plan was hey we're going to get invaded but once they get in here we're going to let the walkers in take care of them and then we can maybe clear the walkers out later. I don't know what his big plan uh, in game is as far as maybe retaking the stadium. But he definitely let all the walkers in and the fight is on. And then finally Negan and Croat face off. They got their little dark gun kind of things pointed at each other. They have a conversation a little bit. You know, we find out a little bit of stuff. Negan thinks he brings out Herschel, but the hood is taken off, and it's Marshall Armstrong. The Croat ends up throwing him off, but he catches the rail and hangs on with Negan saving the Marshall, the guy who wants to kill him, right? Croat does get a shot off in the Marshall's leg, and, you know, I don't know about that gun. Don't get me started on that thing, whether it could work in real life or not, but as far as the show goes and that thing stuck in your leg or your shoulder or wherever, and it just jerks out a big chunk of meat... Dang, that's got to hurt. But Negan ends up saving the marshal, and they end up getting away. So Maggie 
Two of the tribesmen and Jeannie are the only ones left. They make it to a room. The walkers are trying to bust in, and they see that there's a shaft leading down to the sewers. That's their only way out. They've been warned about the sewers. So many dead down there and all that, causing the methane as well. Uh, hard to breathe. You know, we're going to see weird creatures. You know, you just don't want to go down in there, but that's their only way out. So that's what we're going to get next episode is them down in the sewers, which could be really cool. So at this point, of course, Negan doesn't know about Jenny. He saved the marshal. They made it into a little, I think it was a shoe repair shop, something. And he says like, hey, you know, I don't think they're following us. He turns around and the marshal has a gun on him. That's pretty sorry right there. We're pretty sure Negan's going to make it out. And the marshal may turn semi good or something at least against Croat and not trying to kill Negan anymore. But we'll just have to see how that works out. Overall, it was a good episode. A lot of stuff happened, a lot of action. Madison Square Garden with all the walkers in it and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of good fights. A lot of those people got brought down. It does look like the Croat has won this round. We only have two more episodes. The next episode should be them trying to gain the upper hand. And then episode six, maybe gaining that upper hand. I have a feeling, though, the Croat may not be stopped this season. It's called Dead City. You think it'd still be in New York or at least in that area, New Babylon and uh, Manhattan and all that kind of stuff in the story of season two. A lot of people predict that Negan is going to take over the island. And I just want to say way, way back, I made this poster kind of as a funny, you know, as far as, you know, uh, a playoff on the poster. But if season two ish or season three ish, whatever it may get to as far as if Negan does take over Manhattan, take over the Croats group. Which I I don't know if I can see that happening or not myself. But it would make this funny poster art kind of true. But hey, you guys let me know what you think about the episode down in the comments below. And you know I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more dead stuff.